All right, let me just open this video up quick. Um, multiple times in this video, you'll see me comparing the product used to chemical guys. I mean, kind of, somewhat. Um, I'm not a detailer. I really only have the experience with the chemical guy stuff because when I got into kind of cleaning cars, they had a good YouTube channel and good product reviews, so kind of bought into all that, but um, I'm liking this stuff, so. Cheers. A little darker than I was expecting. What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me for another video. Welcome back. If you're already subscribed, awesome. If not, hit that button and join along. Join in. Join in for the ride. Welcome once again. Welcome back for another video. Um, today wasn't really planned. I don't usually film this stuff, but I'm gonna wash the truck, which is right over there. And the reason I'm filming this is to I guess show a little like product review, I guess. Hold on, one second. Let's get a little quick background on this. So this truck, uh, I may, well not mainly, but I kind of daily drive it here and there. Uh, when we had the BMW, I would switch off between the truck and the BMW. But when I daily drive it, I'll take it uh, a couple weeks at a time into Brooklyn, because I live in New York. And going to and from work was about 35 miles each way. I don't know if this was, this is part of why it happens, but I get little like rust spots on the paint. It's not actually rust, but they're like little orange spots that I guess some sort of iron deposit or whatever gets embedded in the paint and it's been annoying the hell out of me. So I'm not gonna be able to show you until the truck's clean because the dirt I guess covers it up and you'll never see it. But uh, after we clean the, clean the truck, I'm gonna show you this, the spots that we have and I actually just went to AutoZone and bought this stuff. So this is iron removing spray clay that we're gonna spray on. Hopefully it's supposed to remove all the iron deposits out of your paint. You could probably do it on the wheels too, but I don't care about doing it on the wheels. Probably good for brake dust actually. But uh, this is what it is. We're gonna get, get this truck clean. Then we're gonna start spraying this stuff on, wipe it down, get all these rust deposit crap all out of the paint. We're gonna get all this rust deposit crap out of the paint and then we're gonna be looking pretty fresh. Let's get one thing out of the way. Um, I am not a car detailer. I don't claim to be a car detailer. So if you see any of the methods I'm using and it just makes your skin crawl, zip it. This is a truck I have gone off-roading with. So the video about this dent that I still haven't got fixed because I'm lazy about it. Dent there. This is all scratched up here. So there's a couple things here and there on the truck. So I'm not completely crazy about keeping it completely fresh and clean um, as you see because the last time I washed this truck was maybe over a month ago and it might not show on video but it's pretty dirty more down there is what it is there's a pretty good chance of rain later on but uh, we're gonna send it anyway because it's been annoying me been wanting to get this uh, these iron deposits out. Let's send it.
with uh, meatlock. But... One down, four to go. pretty easy to clean. Not that many like details on it because it's kind of like flat spokes even though there's a lot of them but clean pretty easily. Not bad. Now let's do the rest of the car. Um, use this for the wheels and tires. Worked pretty good. I usually use Chemical Guys stuff but I ran out of the uh, Diablo tire trim cleaner thing. Um, so when I was at the store I bought this too. So far, so good. Only thing, smell, doesn't smell that great. So far, Chemical Guys, A plus for the uh, smell of their products. So, uh, life hack, lift your truck. You don't have to clean the roof every single time. I do it maybe once every other time, but here you go. All right, so let me drive this truck off. Then we're gonna show you the iron deposit spots or whatever they are, and then start using this product. It's, uh, I don't know if these are gonna show up. Well, some of them definitely show up, but you see all this like that. all over. I don't know what this is from. So the back of the truck is some back here, um, some on the other side, so that's what we're working with. So I'm gonna spray some of the stuff on and I'm just gonna time lapse it to show you, I guess I'll just time lapse it so I'll see it turn purple and working in real time, but not really real, real time because it's spe whatever. All right, let's check it out. Gotta rinse it again. So this was the worst spot. I'm probably gonna hit this up once again, but the rest of the door, not too bad. Uh, just some like tar or whatever, but. Truck's done. I could probably do it like one more time since it was so bad, but just gonna leave it and then maybe next time I wash the truck I'll do this again. But overall, I like this product. So got it again. McGuire's iron removing spray clay. Pretty good. The only complaint that I have with this product right there, that product right there, is that it smells pretty bad. Not bad, but it doesn't smell good at all. So um, that's another one up for chemical guys again so tire sh tire cleaner stuff and this chemical guys got you beat well this i don't actually don't know i never had the chemical guys version of this i'm sure they have one but uh yeah pretty good smell not so good now i'm just gonna dry the truck down with some quick detailer and that's it actually need to refill this first i gotta say this stuff right here that's the good stuff. I used this when I had my WRX and it made it look like extra shiny. I was just really just using this.
right, so got you back on the tripod in the garage, and that's that. So uh, once again, the product we used worked pretty good. And like I said before, I could, I could probably use one more coat just to get the rest of the rest of the shit out. Did better than I was expecting it to do in the first place. Um, I actually didn't know what to expect, to be honest. But it works. Uh, don't need to do anything with the 240. But uh, the Mustang, you're not going to be able to see anything. It's really only the truck right now. Uh, 240 is fiberglass. So I don't really care that much about that, about this issue. If I even get it with this, I mean, it's parked in the garage most of the time anyway. So far, that's a two for two with the McGuire's product products. Hold on. This is the two I got. Um, I only got this one because I ran out of the Chemical Guy stuff, and I happened to be at AutoZone at the time, so I just grabbed that, and I'm pleasantly surprised with that. And Good that good to know that I could just run to the store at any time and get that. Even though I think they started carrying Chemical Guy stuff, but it's no big deal. Probably gonna start buying this from now on. So thank you guys for joining me on this one. Just do a quick wash on the truck. It was fun. I kind of hate washing vehicles. Definitely hate washing wheels. But like I said earlier in the video, that those these wheels these wheels aren't as annoying because they're kind of like flat face and they don't have a lot of angles to it. Even the stock wheels were pretty annoying because you had to like get in there with a brush at all different angles just to get everything. This. In and out. Done. So, yeah. Thanks for joining me. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out and keep the videos rolling. One's a company. Two's a crowd. Three's a party coming. Move around. Fresh, fresh when the school is out. When the booze is up. When the sun is down. Enjoy the ride. Got some pillows in the Chevy. Hey. Tonight, Lord.